What's up, Buck? I'm Doug with Dean in the Garage, and this little devil is a Craftsman 4.5 horsepower yard vacuum. We'll get into what the heck a yard vacuum is in a little bit. I brought her home last night, uh, and she wasn't exactly a runner. All right, she would, uh, you'd, you'd pull her to life, she'd run for about five, 10 seconds, then she'd die out. And then nothing you could do, you could rip your shoulder out of the socket, try and it's gonna get her lit again. Let it sit for 15 minutes, then she comes back to life again for another 10 seconds. Clearly, I'm not gonna get my yard vacuumed uh, 15 seconds at a time with 10, 15 minutes in between. So we gotta figure out what's wrong with her. Uh, I did figure it out, it was a simple problem, but I figured hey, there's probably some people out there on the interwebs that are gonna have a problem like this, gonna wanna need to know what to do. So let's break it down. There are a number of places you could start when diagnosing uh, an issue like this, or any issue really on a small engine. They just need four things. They need air, they need fuel, they need compression, they need spark. So that's it. Figure out which one or ones of those is out of whack, uh, and you'll be in good shape. Now, since it would run, I knew it was getting fuel, and I knew it was getting air, and I knew it had to have spark. So the place I chose to start, even though I suspected a carburetor problem, was at the old Sparky boy over here. Take the Nebraska nut rounder, pop her out. Now, I'm not having this issue anymore, but when I pulled this out last night, she was all fouled with fuel. You can actually tell, you see how clean it is? Uh, that's because it was fouled with fuel. Now, if you pull your spark plug out and it's wet with fuel, one of a few things is happening. Either your engine's not sparking, something we know to not be true in this engine, because again, it would run for 10, 15 seconds. Uh, maybe you're using too much choke. You're uh, giving her the beans a little bit too much, leaning into her. Uh, that's possible, but I wasn't using choke, and I would you know, throttle it down, throttle it up, nothing was doing it. I figured it had to be the third thing. The third thing is something inside your carburetor here. Uh, likely it's going to be either your needle and seat are not seating properly, your needle's not seating properly, or your float is stuck down. So you take your old Nebraska nut rounder, or your uh, pocket toolbox, whatever you got around. Anybody home? Hello? Anyone home? In my case, that did the trick. Whatever was gummed up in here that knocked it loose, she runs like a champ now. So here's the long and the short of it, I'm gonna tell you, I hate doing leaves, that's why I picked up this unit. It is a yard vac. I guess what happens is it sucks the leaves up in here, mulches them up and sends them spinny boying out the back, Jimmy jams them into that bag, and then makes my job a little bit easier. It's even got the old digit deleter over here. I guess you can uh, put your carrots down in there, it'll slice them up for supper or something. Uh, so if we can just get over this one little hurdle uh, where the carb seems to be a little bit gunked up, I think this will be a honey of a machine, make my job a whole lot easier. If I can get the leaves done quicker, I can go inside and watch more of the Chicago Bears losing on Sunday. Can't wait. So we're going to take this carburetor apart. We're definitely going to clean this skunky old thing, my goodness. Uh, and then... We're gonna put her back together. All right, friends, with the slightest bit of persuading, we wrestled her off. Now, before we start digging into the good bits, we can, uh, well, we'll try to degrease some of the outside. Now, I'm not gonna go crazy and use a whole can of the good stuff just on the outside, but get the more egregious bits off. Give her a little wipey wipey. Oh, look at that, like new. All right, crack the uh, bowl open here. We're not doing a full rebuild or anything. I just want to see how much gunk is in here. I suspect at least a little, since it had that uh, stuck float. I'll tell you what, I know I'm always preaching about these uh, grip mats. Somebody put a light there. Uh, they really are amazing for doing carbs, other stuff with lots of teeny parts. Keep it all compartmentalized so that uh, you're not gonna go losing stuff. And the inside of this bowl is not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, but there is some goo, some schmoo. Get rid of the old. And when possible, save on this rubber gasket if it's not too hard. It's not, I don't have one. I don't plan on getting one. So we'll keep that away from the brake clean as much as possible. Bets, you think our seat and needle are good? Float looks fine. Can you see that? I can never tell what you guys can see, but yeah, needle looks fine. Here's where the problem is. Methinks. There's gunk all along here, built up. 
I'm willing to bet that was uh, something crusty was somewhere it ought not be. And uh, yeah, it was holding the float down. It was pouring gas in, so we were choking the poor girl out. Well, the jets are non-removable in this unit, so what we'll do is we'll fire some of the good stuff through it. Through them. Make sure they're nice and clean. I suspect they are because it runs fine. All right, you guys previously discussed this little honey is mint, so we're going to jimmy jam her on there. No big deal. Uh, which way does this guy go? It probably goes like that. Like a zo. There is a gasket on the bottom of this that I'm not going to finick with. Don't go finicking unless you want to pay the price there, bud. Oh, yeah, this is, uh, this is something, so we'll try to blast this guy out. Right in the eye. Amateur hour every time. Probably got on the camera. Slam dance that guy back in. Tighten the whole shebang down and I'll tell you, it's almost quitting time. Moment of truth, hey eh, boys? There you go, Buck. That's uh, one way you can diagnose and then fix a situation like the one I had. Additionally, this little yard vac uh, came in super handy today. I'll tell you what, this thing eats. And speaking of eating, I think we're going to use that old uh, digit deleter over there to make a delightful little chopped salad tonight. So I'm going to go do that. Uh, you let me know down there in the squawk box if you've got any questions, comments, suggestions. What? I guess Jude's late for something. I've got a little suggestion for y'all. Tis the season, my friends. Take five minutes to put stable in your engines in the fall. Unless you want to spend all spring rebuilding carburetors, right? Like I said, leave me that comment down in the squawk boxes. If you like the video, like the video. That's just common sense. Subscribe to the channel. Maybe you can go check us out on Etsy, all right? As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.